What's up guys, John Anthony from John Anthony Lifestyle. And as we near the weekend, coming up here, I wanted to issue a challenge to all of my viewers. So, on this weekend here, for those of you who've seen this video on Thursday, you will have Thursday night if you decide to go out, but you should at the very least have Friday night and Saturday night. I want you to go for 10 phone numbers as your goal. Okay, it's totally reasonable, totally attainable. That can be from any lead source, that can be from nightclubs, from the daytime interactions, or from online sources. Okay, so if you were to go out just Friday and Saturday, you should shoot for five numbers Friday, five numbers Saturday. All right, if you're going out for four or five hours, it's about one number per hour. It's totally doable for anyone watching. Most of you guys aren't acquiring that level of volume just because you are not going out enough or you are standing around when you're out or you're forgetting to ask the girl for her phone number. Okay, so set that as a modest goal. If you're doing Tinder and Bumble swiping and you get a match and it leads to a phone number, okay, count that as one of your 10. Okay, and make sure you try to hold yourself to this. Like, guys are always trying to make excuses like, oh, I'll do 10 next time or I'll do 10, you know, whatever. Oh, I don't know if I can go out because of this or that. Okay, that's fine. You don't need to like cancel all your prior commitments and weekend plans if you didn't plan to go out. But working with what you have, try to go for that goal of 10. Okay. Now, some of you prefer daytime approaching. Okay. So that means you're gonna have to devote some time to walking around the streets or the malls, okay, etc. bookstores. For those of you that prefer, and it can be done a lot quicker with nighttime game. For these, those of you that prefer bars and clubs, or even if you don't, you want to do it quicker, go out to the bar and nightclub. Okay. Typical interaction is going to look like this. Hi, what's up? I wanted to meet you real quick. What's your name? She says her name. I'm John. Nice to meet you. Um, I just moved to the area or whatever, whatever it is that you want to go into next. Okay. I just moved to the area. I'm going to be DJing at this club and that club. I like to cement my value, cement my identity early on in the interaction. So it imports a whole bunch of value saying that imports that I meet a lot of people that I have an adventurous life, that I have a fun life, that I have access to a lot of women, etc. Ask her what she does. She tells me, Oh, cool. Um, who are you here with? Oh, I'm here with this and that. Oh, cool. This is my friend here, etc., etc. You make some small talk, you flirt with her, you make some sexual innuendos and then tell her you seem fun. We should meet up during next week. Okay. For a drink or we should meet up for coffee. Do you like coffee? Do you like craft beers? Do you like wine? Whatever it is that your date activity is going to be. Do you like X? Okay. She's usually going to respond. Yes. If not, you can ask her what kind of stuff she does like, and then suggest you do that. Cool. We can meet up during the week for coffee, for a drink. Let me take your number, take out your phone, open the dial pad here, put your number in. She puts the number in. You show her just to confirm that that's your number. Yes. Cool. And when are you free during the week? Okay. So that's the other part of this. Your preliminary goal is to get 10 phone numbers, but the secondary is to try to frame each of these phone numbers for a meetup. And what that means is you're telling them, you know, first of all, you're finding out their schedule and then you're telling them, cool, let's meet for whatever activity you planned on day Y at venue Z or whatever, or, or I know a good place. I'll text you the details about it, but you want to at least set the activity and the day. Oh, sorry. And the time. Okay. So she's like, Oh, I usually work till five. Okay, cool. And then you got to go home and like get ready and shit. How about we plan for like seven o'clock? And what you want to do is you want to plan the meetup for as soon as possible after that day. So if you meet the girl on a Friday or Saturday, you want to be trying to meet her Sunday or Monday. Okay. The, the soonest time that both of you have free time, that both of you are available is when you want to meet her. So let's say she says, Oh, Monday, I'm off work at five, five 30. Okay. You're like, okay, cool. Well, you have to go back home and get changed and get ready and stuff. Let's how about seven o'clock on Monday? She's like, yeah, sounds good. Cool. And then you can either end the interaction there and go to the next girl, or you can continue to build up some more value and banter and stuff like that. And then in the text thread, Hey, it's your name from wherever you met her. So, Hey, it's 
John from Club X. Hey, it's John from the street. Hey, it's John from Tinder. Um, see you Monday at 7, smiley face. Or see you Monday, smiley face. Okay, now that work, that groundwork, that legwork that you normally would have had to do from scratch over text has been done already in, th in the interaction when the vibe was strong, when her buying temperature was good, when the mood was good. Okay, everybody's happy in the interaction. She's compliant. Things are going great. If you wait till the next day to set those plans, you get lost in a sea of random phone numbers with every guy she met and she doesn't remember who you are or what you talked about and you are starting from scratch and you have no plans set up. Okay. For those of you that are not used to getting phone numbers ever, this weekend is your time to shine. Okay. If, you, if, you, if you're typically getting zero or one phone number, okay, try to go for five as a goal. Okay. But for those of you that have gone past the, the one phone number in a whole weekend or zero phone numbers in a whole weekend, Mark, um, ever, then you should be shooting for 10 and don't, don't pussy out and say, Oh, well, 10, 10 too high. Or that's, I'm only used to getting a couple numbers a week or whatever. It doesn't matter that this is why I'm trying to push you here. And obviously there's no consequence if you don't do it, but you should hold yourself accountable to this. And I want you guys to reply in the comments come next week about your experiences with how hard this was and were you able to do it, etc. Um, and it's not, it's really not that big of a deal. Like if you think about it, if you go out at 10 PM until 2 AM, okay, that's four hours and you're doing one interaction per hour, or if you're getting one phone number per hour, that's four phone numbers, both nights, that's eight. Okay. Then you can do a couple street approaches or you can do a Tinder or Bumble online game to get those leads. And then, okay. So goal number one, get 10 leads this weekend. Goal number two, frame them all for dates. Goal number three for next week, you're going to shoot for a minimum of two dates. Okay. I obviously try to set them all for dates, but try to set at least two of them for dates. Okay. Now that's 20% of the leads you acquired. And then as a fourth goal, try to fuck one of those two girls. Okay. So now you just got laid in a week running this little funnel we just built here for the weekend. And if your skill is higher, okay, you're, as you've been developing along with this with, with videos from my channel or possibly from my product, then you should be able to acquire a lot more than 10 leads. I tell guys you should be shooting for about 40. Okay. And watch my video about, um, goal metrics, search for goal metrics on my channel. I talk about, you should be shooting for 40. You can mix that between daytime game, nighttime game and online game. It's primarily going to be nighttime and online to, to hit those numbers. And then with that example, you can shoot for, uh, four meetups, which is 10%. And then you can shoot for two closes a week, which is 50% close rate on your dates. So just following those numbers through these funnels, if you do what I'm advising, the 10 numbers, turning into two dates, turning into one close. If you do that on a weekly basis, that's going to be 52 girls in a year. Okay. Most of you are nowhere near that in, in your success and you could be. And granted, the more your skill increases in this game, the more phone numbers you'll get, the, the more solid the phone numbers will be, meaning the more of the girls will want to meet up and not flake on you. And the more of your dates will close and the more of the ones that close, the girls will stick around. Okay. And you'll, and you'll set up a lot more dates. So obviously the skill part is important, but this is going to be a little exercise on, on working a little bit of volume here. 10 numbers is not any kind of crazy volume. I have 1000, like 54 right now contacts <laughs> in my phone and it stays pretty constant because I'm at 1000. Let me see 1054 and I, I have uh, 1053 lays. So it's, it's like, or sorry, 10, sorry, 10,000 contacts. I'm like fucking losing track here. 10,000. 
yeah, I think my rate increased. I'm I'm at, I'm at a little over ten thousand contacts, and my my late count is one thousand fifty four. So it's close to ten percent are closing. But shoot for that metric this weekend, okay? It's going to be outside of some of your comfort zones. That's okay. Embrace the fear. Watch my videos in the past week on dealing with fear, manning up. We have a little cameo from one of Mystery's old videos in that video about manning up. And I will see you for lots of good shit next week. The, the montage is, is almost ready. It's going to be really epic. This guy's been, been working on it around the clock. Um, that will be released next week. Make sure you help share that and post it in all your groups, and we will try to make that go viral. But please like and subscribe if you have not already. Everyone have a great weekend. Make sure you dedicate some time for the bars and clubs so you can hit this goal. And I will see you guys next week. Take care.